So it took me a whole year to actually quit my nursing job but I wish that I didn't quit as soon as I did. In this video, I'm gonna share the reasons of why I wish I quit later and what I would do instead. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jareen and I explore topics on writing, personal development, and making money in a way that feels good and I hope that you follow along. So back in November of 2021, I quit my nursing job as an emergency nurse. And one of the ways that I support myself is through freelance writing. I learned different ways to make money online and that's why I felt confident to finally quit my job. But then I realized that it came with a lot more nuances that I wish I knew. The very first thing is that being uncertain is exhausting. When I became a freelance writer, it's kind of like a dive into the entrepreneurship world and the way to get money as a freelance writer is that you have to find your clients and you have to write for your clients and that's how you'll get paid. Being uncertain, not knowing whether you're going to have a client in the next month or six months from now can be a lot of pressure on yourself. And also, I wasn't in love with the idea of freelancing forever, so I really didn't put like my 100% into it but I was making good money so that's why I decided to make the leap. I learned how freelancers make a lot of money online and I just felt like it wasn't the right path for me so I was becoming more confused. I had a lot of mental pressure as to whether I should keep going with this whole journey or should I just go back to my nursing job whereas if I had stayed in my nursing job I could have experimented more in my freelancing journey where I would write for clients, doing part-time nursing part-time freelance writer but at the same time those two things would have not let me have time to do my own writing which is why I had let go of my nursing job and having a bad working condition which I had talked about in the video where I talk about the signs of quitting your job even though I had good paying clients I just didn't know when until when that would last I knew I could get more clients but it was really exhausting to think about it and I felt like I wasn't working enough even though I was working a lot if I could go back in time and I could do it all over again what I would do instead is that I would do a part-time or casual job position so if you're in the nursing world you might be familiar with dropping your hours instead of working full-time you can do part-time or casual while you figure out your business if you had already started it or if you haven't started it then you can dive into different ways to make money online and really figure out what's in it for you and give yourself a year or two or even maybe three years before taking the leap. The second reason is that I feel like you lose your freedom to become an archaeologist. As I've mentioned before going to freelance writing, I dabbled with different ways to make money online and when I had my nursing job, I felt secure to take risks. So I did coaching, I launched a paid community program, I did so many things that I wouldn't have otherwise because it would have been too confusing or risky to kind of jump from one business to another but because I had my nursing job it was it didn't matter whether whether I launched one business or three businesses to see which one would align with me and also which one would other people want from me so when I quit my job I only had my freelance writing business as my sort main source of income and in that case I felt a lot of pressure to work on it 24 7 and I lost the ability to experiment on other things because if I experimented with other ways to make money then my focus or my efforts would would be wasted because I could have spent the time or my energy or money into the freelance writing business versus in different ways but because I only had freelance writing as my main source of income I really had to focus in it even though I was realizing that heart wasn't a hundred percent in it here's what I would do instead is that I would actually just keep your job and experiment as much as possible and as long as possible so this is where you you can do your research and figure out whether this is really what you want in life not even in life but for the next six months to a year and I would talk to different people in the industry to see whether the business that you're thinking of or the side hustle you're thinking of is something that you really want in life you can ask different questions like what do they like about their job what they hate about their job how do they navigate through their day-to-day -day life and I really think it's important to know the day-to-day -day of someone's life to figure out whether that's for you or for me I realized that I don't like working at home when I stopped going to my nursing job I was stuck at home and I didn't feel good about that because I missed the socializing aspect in the nursing world with my co-workers so I decided to kind of come here to Punta Cana where I'm at right now because even though I'm 
working online, I still get to explore. Versus if I had stayed in Toronto, I would have worked from home and I wouldn't have been able to go out because of how cold it is. So that's something to keep in mind as well. The third reason is that I stopped creating for the sake of creations. Because I became a freelance writer, I stopped creating for the sake of creation because I didn't have the time or the energy because I was writing for my clients, I was writing for different brands, I was helping them grow their own brands and I didn't have the time or energy left for myself that to dedicate to grow my personal brand online. So I, I stopped writing my own thoughts, ideas, because I was now getting paid to do it for someone else but of course it always has the caveat of it's not really your own thing you're still kind of an employee of that brand so I felt like felt like I was still an employee in a way as a freelancer even though I was getting paid more compared to my nursing job so that's one of the things that you might want to look out for that's one of the things you need to consider is that when you turn your passion into a business you might lose your passion for your hobby or for the passion that you had found so so now i'm looking for different alternatives as to how to make this work because i because now i realize that i want to write for the sake of writing i don't care if it makes me money so that i, I don't have that much pressure because i want to create for the sake of creating i want to write for the sake of writing i don't really care if it has like zero or ten thousand views i want to be able to publish more frequently because it really is something that that's important to me so what i would do instead is that if you find a hobby or if you have an interest that you really like and that you want to keep it for yourself something that you're you own something that you don't want to monetize then keep it that way and find different hobbies to monetize so for instance if you like writing and if you like making videos then maybe you can turn your YouTube into a business while keeping writing as your main hobby. Same thing with creating art or painting or drawing. Some of these hobbies, you can keep it for yourself and for others, you can turn it into a business. I really hope this video resonates with you. And if you have any questions, let me know down below and I will see you in the next video.